today's video I'll be showing you how to test your run capacitor for your condensing unit now sometimes whenever you're working on an AC sometimes you can visually inspect it you can see on this one specifically it's imploded the top is rounded the bottom is rounded you could feel it so even if you were to kind of see this capacitor inside of a condensing unit just doing a visual inspection you would see that due to it being imploded that the capacitor will be no good. Whenever you're dealing with the capacitor, there's a few things you want to consider. First, you want to make sure that your multimeter actually will enable you to test for microfarads or MFDs. You can see here when you look at these capacitors, you're looking for two specific readings. You can see here, let me get a newer one with a better sticker. This one is 35 plus 5 microfarads. You want to make sure that um, you are able to test the microfarads. Not all multimeters give you that capability. So for instance here, this is my Klein uh, multimeter. Great multimeter. I've used Klein uh, for many years. It has everything. It has the clamp to test for amperage. It has uh, voltage testing, uh, continuity. But unfortunately, when I purchased this one, I didn't check for microfarads. And so I'm unable to use this whenever I'm dealing or trying to diagnose issues with the condensing unit in regards to the capacitor. I saw one that I did have um, a few years ago. Uh, this is, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I mean, if you're working in HVAC, you wanna make sure that you're able to diagnose and fix your issues as quickly as possible. So here, I just have a generic multimeter. Uh, basically, you can see here, it's already set to the symbol for microfarads or MFDs and this will allow you when you're out in the field to just test your capacitor uh, very quickly as I said when you look at this one you can see here it's kind of rocking on the bottom when I go like that so that tells me that the bottom has been rounded and then also if you look up top you can see that it imploded it should be nice and flat but you can see here so just doing a visual inspection you'll be able to see that this capacitor needs to be replaced here I have this one this is uh, a capacitor that I took out the condenser wasn't running but the fan was running so you can see here right now I have one lead on common and one lead on fan and you can see when you look at the multimeter that we are getting a reading of 5 you can see here 4.9 I have my multimeter set on my common and on my erm terminals you can see here that I'm not getting any reading this is why my compressor was not running well, here I have a capacitor that's fairly new less than three months and if you were to look at this capacitor and you didn't have the ability to check the microfarads on this capacitor you would look at it and you would say well this is a new capacitor and you would think that the issue would be somewhere else but you can't always trust just doing a visual inspection so right now we're going to test uh, both our fan and our erm terminals from our common and see what our readings come out to be now my leads are on common and fan and you can see here I'm not getting any reading on my multimeter we have our leads on the common and erm terminal and you can still see here that we do not have a proper reading off of this capacitor here I have this capacitor brand new out of the box and you can see here I have one lead on common and one lead on the fan terminal and I am getting a reading of 5.0 I have my leads on my common and my arm terminal and here I have a reading of 44.7 and this is a 45 plus 5 microfarad so right now testing this capacitor we do have what we need for it to operate properly on a condensing unit. Generally, when you're dealing with capacitors, you're running into two different capacitors. Here we have what's called a dual capacitor, and this just has three separate terminals. One is for your fan, one is for your common, and one is for your erm. But you may have one that just has two terminals. And if you have one of these, you're basically going to test it just by putting one lead on each side to get the proper reading. do have a dual capacitor which has the three terminals common fan and erm just remember you're only testing common to fan 
and your common to erm. You're never testing erm to fan or vice versa. It's always common to erm and then common to fan. And you want to check the readings to see the specs. So right here, obviously, the 35 is going to be the higher, which the higher one, which is going to be for erms. And here, the 5 is going to be for your fan, which is going to be the lower microfarads. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.